Earlier this week, Governor Bill Lee renewed his call for Tennessee to pass a gun protection order, also known as a red flag law. He called on lawmakers to put politics aside and do something, of course, in the aftermath of the Covenant school shooting. As we all know, six people were killed that day, including three children just nine years old. Hello, everyone. I'm Vicki Yates. And I'm Rory Johnston. Tonight, we're still not sure if lawmakers will take action this session, even though it is still ongoing. News Channel 5's Chris Davis has learned the politics are already starting to get a little tricky on this. We're getting new details about how a new protection order gun bill may be constructed in the legislature, and it's not going to be done perhaps the way you'd think. We're looking at captions that are actually moving through the system so that you don't have to start over from square one this late in the session. Caption bills are a common, albeit a little confusing, mechanism that legislators can use to get a bill passed towards the end of a session, according to News Channel 5 political analyst Pat Nolan. So that if something comes up during the session, they can take that bill that's already been filed and then they can use that bill as sort of a vessel. According to Representative Lamberth, Republicans are finalizing a draft of the governor's proposed protection order that would not allow for ex parte hearings. Essentially, that means if someone petitions a judge to get their firearms removed from someone who poses a danger to themselves or others, the person accused has a chance to defend themselves in court. Poppycock. But Minority Leader Karen Camper thinks that argument is just a partisan talking point. They already have a made up mind. Let's have a conversation. Let's sit down and talk about it. That's talking points that they always have and all seem to sing from. So what are the chances a bipartisan red flag law can pass? Pat Nolan shares his predictions at 6. Chris Davis, News Channel 5. Thank you, Chris. Now, Democrats had hoped to run a similar protection order bill this session, but it died in a committee meeting just yesterday afternoon.